guys, time for the next video. So I've been playing with the CNC. I'm not just going to show you it cut it all the time. That's quite boring. I will show one in this because what I've been doing is trying to do 3D carving. So that was my first little test to see how small it would go. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. I'll try and show them a bit better in a minute. And then I did a big one of the same thing. Cut it out really thin on a plate. Yeah, uh, so after the lizards, I tried an owl. But for some reason, the software uses a post processor and it didn't raise the Z, it just cut all the way through and then ripped this bit off at the bottom. The actual owl looks really good. But after that one, I did another one a bit faster. So I'm trying all the time how deep, how fast I can make this go because I built it. And so far, so at the moment, this one uh, was cut one mil deep cuts at 30 millimeters a second and the wood was a bit rough it came out all right the detail is all in there and then this one came out really well all the details there and then the two lizards I did which were just gecko fridge magnets from thingiverse I'll put the links in the description for these I just sliced them flat but yeah it's uh it's a learning curve with 3d on the cnc but mind blown with how much details come out it is just brilliant so what i want to do now is take this lump of Pahutakawa, Pahutakawa is a native New Zealand tree, flowers at December with red flowers, so it's called the New Zealand Christmas tree. So I need to square up the faces on this somehow, which I'm really not sure how to do at the moment. I'm thinking screw it to a piece of wood on a level side that I like, like there and try it in the drop saw or the table saw and just slice out what I want and then try and see if it'll carve that in the face of it and see what speeds and how it comes out and what it will look like so that's what I'm going to try and do I'm going to leave the bark on for now yeah, if I did that even if I got halfway through with a square face, I could finish it with a hand saw. Anyway, let's try it.
I just snapped the belt. Okay, so need to order a new bank. Well, I, I, I was meant to order new ones ages ago, and I never got round to it. God damn it. I'm going to see if I've got a smaller piece of wood. So if I use a smaller round, I can square that up on the drop saw, which is a lot easier. And just make it a smaller owl, see what it comes out with. It will be quicker carving anyway, because there's a bit of work before I can put it in there. So let's have a go with this. So first, because that is a dead flat side, but I got a step in this from the saw. I'm just going to take two mil off all over, square that face up, and then get the owl in it somehow. Gotta say that I'm well impressed with this machine so far for something that was printed. It's doing really well.
so it's finished. This thing is blowing my mind every time I use it. Considering it's just printed, the guy who designed this, we've got Ryan from G1 Engineering. It's pretty outstanding. Anyway, let's switch this off so you can hear me better because I have got a cold and a sore throat and everything else that goes along with that. Let's close the laptop down, disconnect it. Some of the bark has come off. This isn't the best light for it. But so bark's come off up here. But that has come out so well. Man, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, this machine, it's brilliant. Actually, I'm really impressed with it. So I got a load of what I'm doing now. Sorry, cold. Make a dust shoe. Uh, lose this first wasteboard. And make a proper channel. Uh, get some T-track. So I can clamp down a lot easier. I want to mark a grid on the board as well. Give me some reference points. But yeah, this is brilliant. Can't wait to see what else I can do. I've had some ideas. Something else I want to play with a present for Claire. So we'll uh, take it from there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll show you the owl again because I am really impressed with it. It is so cool. <laughs> yeah, I think take the bark off. Coated in some Metlex wood preservative. Yeah, that is pretty. I like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, cost nothing. And I'll do more. I just do this because I enjoy doing it. That, you know, that is brilliant. I could never carve that by hand. Anyway. Have fun wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.